creating this. You know, the black man. And we looking at Uncle Sam. I'm gonna play this video. This is example of might versus right. All this might and Ike is going to bust on them. Talking about the military industrial complex. And when black people see something like this, they get impressed. You know. And just because you got might don't mean you're right. And they're bringing down black men like uh, Samson and Delilah. Samson was strong and they sent, the enemy sent Delilah in to find out secrets of Samson's strength and he told her it was his hair and she cut his hair and he lost his strength see it's a metaphor you know it's not it's not exactly telling you uh, straight up but it's a meaning and a subliminal message message behind this and Allah's world been here all the time. Allah is the Lord of all the worlds, even the devil's world. But he had gave enough the devil enough rope to hang himself. Now he's making foolish mistakes, but the average Joe Blow don't see it. You got storms coming in. The weather's changing. The serious sun is getting closer and closer to our side. Let's check it out. When retired World War II General Dwight David Eisenhower ran for president, he was hailed as a military savior, an all-American hero from the plains of Kansas. Now is the time for all good Americans to come to the aid of their country. Vote for Eisenhower. No expected that in his farewell address he would identify and oppose the emergence of a new power constellation, the military-industrial complex. In the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. The potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. We must never let the weight of this combination endanger our liberties or democratic processes. His was a prophetic speech, especially for a military leader who saw that a fusion of government and corporate power could lead to what he called unwarranted influence and misplaced power. On the warning's anniversary, President Eisenhower's own granddaughter Susan documented how the military industrial complex had grown. She wrote, in less than 10 years, our military and security expenditures have increased by 119 percent. This new book on the clout of the military industrial complex by William Hartung details the power it wields. He told me how it works. Military contractors, uniform military, the Pentagon are basically pushing their interest at the expense of taxpayer, national security, uh, in some cases their civil liberties. 
so what are we talking about you give a devil enough rope to hang itself See, we were asleep, knocked unconscious. Who was we? The original Asiatic black man. The lost foundation of Shabazz here in the wilderness of North America. The wilderness is wild, all the way wild. Not only here, but all around the all around the planet because of that pandemic. See, that was a, that was a industrial military weapon of mass destruction. That's what this is. I'm saying it was, but it's still in effect. Another thing that he uses as a weapon. He weaponized money. He put an illusion effect on money. We think money is the end all. See? We praising that dollar and forgot about Allah. I don't care if we do go to mosque, the church, We can't move unless we got some money. That's what y'all think. So, the stimulus is another means of control. They weaponized it. They holding back on it. Around the time Christmas come, they going they might give you another stimulus check before the year's out and you're going to take it right back to them. Your bill's going to be past due. See, now's the time to go within yourself and realize that the kingdom of Allah or the kingdom of God is within. And what I mean within is not personalizing the individual going within with the black entire black nation brother was saying you can't categorize black as a nation if you are law if you understand that you are law you can categorize any way you want it because you invented words <laughs> you talk words to the to the Caucasian. And he turned around and weaponized the words and used them against you. We own the whole whole planet, the whole universe is ours, man. The universe is black with speckles of light. Black is the base of light. That's why I call myself Black Light. So, so we looking at things all wrong. Here we are. Looking at things all wrong, ass backwards. We looking at things backwards. We going out the world backwards. Because we fell in love with our enemy. That's right. Y'all don't fell in love with your enemy. You forgot about being righteous. You eat any kind of way. In the supreme wisdom, it tells us that 
we're going to go into that supreme wisdom on the next video on this specific item dietary laws now you got you got dietary laws in the bible you tell you don't eat pork you tell you don't eat shrimps catfish but you eat it and it gave an illustration of the children and the Bible gives an illustration of the children wondering the children of Israel wondering in the wondering the children of Israel wandering in the in the wilderness for 40 years and Moses went to get a, the laws carved them in stone and brought them back when he came back the children was worshiping the golden calf so that's like Master Farad leaving well it's been over 40 years since the Honorable, most honorable Elijah Muhammad left that's your 40 years in, in the wilderness now You, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and Master Farad offered you manna from, from the heavens and you refused them. Because you didn't like the source of which they were coming from. You'd rather have someone else imitating or not imitating but artificially posing as the Messiah. It tells you about that in the Bible also about beware of false prophets. So now we're gonna have to pay a price, you know, for for our misconduct and act and acting other than self. But now you see the industri military industrial complex falling apart. They're not too happy. Everything is falling apart right now. Think about it, what I'm saying. This is part three. Our lost kingdom is here. So you got to think in your mind that if you want heaven on earth, you can't wait. You gotta, you know, think it's already here. You can't keep praying for the same thing. I heard a brother say, if you have enough faith, just ask for it one time. Knock and the door shall be open. And it's there on black light.